Okay, welcome back. I uh, wanted to do a follow-up video of these dry shod, no-show, gusset XT, six-layer protected comfort range, negative 50 to 65. Um, I will put the link to the original video uh, in the comments um, because I don't know how to put it on the screen where you can just click it yet. I'm pretty basic here. So, um, it is January 17th, 2022. I've had the boots through a hunting season and, uh, and through an ice season. You can see here, we're in the middle of, uh, we're in the middle of ice season here on, uh, a little beta knot. And, uh, I have to say, I am thoroughly impressed with the boots. Um, I was skeptical because they didn't weigh very much, uh, a little bit tight. Um, just, just watch the original video and, and see. But I, I have to say that that I am I'm super impressed with these boots. First of all, let's talk about that tightness. It was a little bit tight getting on and off. Kind of thought it would stretch out, and it has no problem getting them on and off. Still, if I'm going to use a thicker sock, um, I don't have a lot of room, so go up a size. Uh, these are, I'm, a, I'm 11 and a half, these are 12s. I would go 13 so I can put another pair of socks on. So go up a size if you know you're going to add socks. And if you don't, it's still pretty, you know, it's still pretty tight. Um, walking in these, uh, I don't want to say it's a joy, but it is, it, it feels like I'm, I'm getting some energy back. Uh, there's like a spring effect. I don't know how long that's going to last. I've put in probably, shoot, I've probably put in 15, 20 miles walking in these, maybe more. And, uh, and I still feel that. I still feel that pushback, that spring. Like when I push down, I feel like it's, it's, it's going up. Um, if, if you've seen those prosthetic, prosthetic legs uh, on, on track people and they have that, that, that spring effect where they push back, that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm getting some pushback. I'm getting, I'm getting some help. So uh, they're light and they have that little pushback. So they are a joy, a joy to walk in. Fantastic. I find myself using these um, anytime I want to walk anywhere, I use these. Um, the, the claim, minus, uh, what did I just say? Minus 50 to 65, it says it right there. Minus 50 to, to 65 degrees. I have to say, um, I get colder hunting than I do ice fishing because I'm in a shanty or a shack or something that's going to have a heater on when I'm ice fishing 99% uh, of the time. And when I'm hunting, I am not in a shack. I'm sitting in my climber normally and, um, and prone to get cold. These have been, these have been very, very, very good. Um, I do have the ability, I do have the option to put electric socks on and use those. I didn't feel like I had to do that maybe twice the whole hunting season. Uh, this is getting down, I was getting into the teens a couple mornings and it's kind of stayed cold as it's prone to do some, some days up here. Uh, and I just, I just didn't get cold feet. Um, ice fishing, there's been a couple times I've ran out of heat and I've had to kind of ration it and, and going down just to the pilot and I'll, I'll turn it down just to the pilot on my heater. And yeah, I can feel a little bit of cold coming in, but not bad. Um, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at, at how well um, these have insulated my feet and uh, against the cold. You know, I'm, I'm standing right on ice. I've actually, maybe in time for another video, but I've actually made a platform with styrofoam and, and sandwiched it in with some plywood so if I want to, I can put that down and my feet would be on that while I'm ice fishing. I haven't needed to do that. I just don't feel like I have to have that. I know last year downstate with those big, heavy Cabela's 2000 gram insulate boots, the ones that <laughs> other videos you see me trying to, trying to fix and hang on to because I can't find a replacement. My feet would get so cold, I'd have to put them up by the heater. I have not had to do that yet. And it's been far colder here than it was downstate. There's a lot of days I'm fishing in the single digits wind chills. I'm not, a, not a ton of wind chill, obviously, inside the shelter, but there's, there's a little wind coming through. Um, you know, we're in negative uh, teens. And, uh, and I just, I haven't gotten in and said, oh my gosh, my toes are freezing, and I did last year. So um, I don't know how long they're gonna hold up, 
but for one season, and uh, and we still got you know a couple months here left, a nice season, uh, and, and a little bit here. And uh, but for that one, or half a year ice fishing and a, a year of deer season, I am very, very, very uh, impressed. I'm gonna bring that right in close so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Got him at Cabela's. Uh, the cost was uh, oh, I think the cost was 175, something like that. But uh, uh, very, very impressed. Highly recommend. Uh, we'll see how they hang on. I actually think what I'm going to do here shortly is I'm going to take some preventative measures. And you see, we got this seam between rubber and neoprene, and I'm going to I'm going to get that seam. I'm going to caulk that, maybe a, maybe just a silicone caulk, and then the seam in between the boot sole and the and the rubber. I'm going to caulk that uh, seam right here, uh, where the the kind of the heel, um, the kick kick thing here with the heel. Uh, I'm going to caulk that. Just preventative, you know, why not? Why not give it a little bit more protection, get these things to last? 175 uh, is a lot for boots. I know it's really not a lot for boots now, but it's a lot for boots, a lot more than I want to spend, and I don't want to spend it every three years. Um, if I can get these maybe six years, that'd be fantastic. Uh, five, six years would be great. But uh, yeah, uh, so that's it. Uh, I'll put the, uh, the original in the comments. And if you have any other uh, any other thing else you want to say, uh, just uh, put it also in the comments, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks.